Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Creative Reviews. Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at Amazon's new seven inch Fire tablet. This is the one that goes for $50. We've unboxed it, but let's take a closer look at the device itself. We're gonna be looking at the outside of the device and the screen, getting some close up views of that. We're gonna begin with my favorite part of any device, the camera. So let's take a close look and have this zoom in. Now we're not going to be really going over the specs, we're just going to be going over how things look in different lights. Now we have a lot of light coming from the top and the sides, so things should look good. So here we have the recessed camera. Next to it here we have the um, micro SD port, which can hold up to 128 gigabytes. And that's good because this device only has eight gigabytes on board. And that's how it looks when it is open. So I don't believe this is a watertight seal, but it does click shut and you can spin this all the way around if you really wanted to and then close it like that. Now here is where we get all, most all the rest of our ports and buttons here on the very top of the device. It may be a little bit confusing because you may expect the volume rocker to be on the side, but no. Here let's begin going left to right from the back. Here we have the power button. Next to it here, we have the micro SD. Oh no, sorry, the micro USB. Here we have your speaker for using, for uh, filming videos or taking Skype calls. Here we have your volume rocker at the top. And last but not least, we have your headphone jack. This does come with Bluetooth, so you don't have to use um, corded headphones. Now, on this side of the device, it is pretty much clean. This would be, if you're looking straight on, the left side of the device. Now, looking at the bottom, it is also very clean. And then finally, we get back to our right side, where we have at the top here the micro SD port. The rest of the device is perfectly clean. Now let's take a look at the front of the device. That's me there. Here we have the front facing VGA camera. Very small. And you can probably discern the bezel here all around from the actual screen. We'll turn that on for you. And that's me, little picture I took. Let's see if we can get a close shot of the device. Here are the viewing angles. Remember this is bright light all around and here it's starting to dim. Things look good. Now let me turn all the lights off here and we can take a little bit of a better look at the viewing angles. All right, here we have Friends, which is on, found on Netflix, and this is probably a show that you'll be watching a lot of if you do watch Netflix and if you like Friends. All right, so we're gonna go here to the side. You can see here you, you start to not be able to see much but it still is viewable. I'd say it's an appropriate, it's still appropriately viewable about from this side. So here we have it straight on, goes to about here, and that's about the best viewing angle. Here from the side, you kind of lose the picture. That's what it looks like in real life. You do lose the picture that much. Coming from the top, you don't really lose that much image quality and coming from the bottom, the very same. So the best viewing angles are coming 
Let's turn the light back on. Coming from the top and the bottom, but it has some poor viewing angles coming from the sides. And that's a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? This is a $50 tablet. Um, one of the things I did want to point out here, and it's one that we did not look at, here we have the speaker. Now there is one problem with this speaker. Normally, to enhance the volume, if you just want to maybe put on iHeartRadio or an album that you've purchased, you turn this on and then maybe you set down the device like this. And on most cell phones and tablets, that would actually enhance the sound and allow it to echo up. Let's turn on Friends here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, that's about halfway. We're gonna turn all the way up. You guys are gonna love me. Okay, check it out. Thursday night, five tickets. Calvin Klein lingerie show. Now, it does sound good. I have to say the sound is really good. It is stereo coming out of a single speaker. And if you were to hold it like this, which you probably will be, you do not cover up the speaker and that's great. But look what happens when you set this down. Wait. Okay, I said that out loud, right? Yes, yes, it's just that we, uh, we kind of already <clears throat> made plans with Ross. Down. Now, what the ha what's happening here is when this is being set down, because this speaker is here on the back and not on the bottom part, at least partly on the bottom, it's actually covering up the speaker. So... One of the things that I always have done with my tablets and phones, iPads and Androids, is uh, use a table or whatever to enhance the sound. Can't do that on this. I'm not sure if other people do that as well. I believe you all do. So this is actually a kind of an oversight because that speaker could be easily shifted a little bit down. And the thing is, I don't know if this speaker is a little bit too thick to be moved down, but even just a little bit, that would help out a lot. But this is a $50 tablet. It does have Bluetooth, so you can always connect a Bluetooth speaker. And it also does have a headphone jack. So this will be able to be used with speakers, but normally you're gonna be holding it like so and just kind of sitting there and watching Netflix or consuming some type of media. And that's a little bit disappointing that you can't just lie this down and have it enhance the sound because it does cover up the sound. We'll hear it once more. He's really excited about it too. He's been uh, recording showtimes on his answer machine. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Rage, it's, uh, it's not that we don't want to. Really. All right, now we're going to turn this down and we're going to take a look at the image quality. Now, when I first loaded um, Netflix on here, the video is very pixelated and I thought, hey, that's maybe all we can get off of this. But it's actually loaded pretty well. Let's see if we can get a good zoom in on that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's pretty close in. Um, when I load up YouTube, it loads up in 720p. So it's, it's not a bad picture. I'm really surprised about this. It's not a bad picture at all. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you the ins and outs of the new Amazon Fire 7-inch tablet, the one that goes for $50. I like it. For $50, it's a great device because it's expandable with micro SD cards. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Beam, and Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe to Creative Reviews and 5149 Media. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.